take one game and pitch it as the reverse, as in you're a bad guy fighting against the main protagonist. Wait, an already existing bad guy? A, a game. So yeah, so a, uh, yeah, a game. Take a bad guy from a game and make him the protagonist. Okay. And, okay. And pitch us that game. <clears throat> I have like an like an immediate like top of the head one, Same. and then I kind of want to think more. But the immediate top of the head one that I have is you're Glados and you're creating the puzzles oh. for uh, for the people that are in the Jesus, portal. Jesus, uh, I want that. Yes. I want That's that good. game. Yeah. Yeah, well, wouldn't you just fill every room with <laughs> toxic acid, or do you want the protagonist? I feel like you'd have to. I feel like what you'd have to do is you'd have to make it like Mario Maker. Have you? Do you know the rules there? Yeah. It's like yeah. you have to be able to beat your own level to submit it. Ah. So like the so like the level has to be completable. It's Ma- just. Nice. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. Oh my gosh, Mario that Maker is, uh, for Portal. Yeah, that's a genius idea. Wow. Is that Portal Portal Three? Maybe Portal could Three. Be, yeah, yeah it could be Portal Three. Get on it. Make a three valve. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they probably oh. haven't even started yet, and they're like, "Oh, now we've got a good idea. <laughs> we'll they, start now." It sounds like people want this. Um, I I think I could argue, Ganon's not a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ganon like, did nothing the, wrong. Hashtag. <laughs> well, when you think about it, Ganon was only able to get the power shard out of the Triforce, and so it kind of corrupted him. It enhanced mm. his power to become sort of like more unbalanced than ever mm. before. So he's just trying to get it so that he can kind of complete it, so it can harmonize him, because that power shard at, at you're operating at full power has just been too much for him, and. He's actually worried about the destruction that he's capable of with this amount of power, but because he's already absorbed the shard, it, the only way to kind of right the wrong is to get the full Triforce. And now Zelda and Link are in his way, and he's just like, you're hurting me by not helping me. Mm. <laughs> That's yeah, kind of like awesome. It. Uh, Ganon's going to get the Thanos at it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Huh? You're like, yeah. He's the bad guy, or was he? Yeah, It'll make you think. Yeah. Is he wrong? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I I see the argument. I could see it. I like um, that. Um. I, oh, I guess I haven't gone yet. Just because I've like since I was a kid loved this character. Um, I would love to see a full full on game starring Goro. Just <laughs> I, I'd like to see. Just, He's so misunderstood. He got bullied for being so big. <laughs> yeah, you know, I I, I kind of want to see a slice of life of what it's like to have four arms. High you five. know, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, like what can you get done when you got it's four like a, arms? Like Mortal you know? Kombat dating sim or something. <laughs> I'd be so down for that. Take, yeah, it, so take him out of the fighting arena. I you would know? love to see that where it's like you know it goes to Scorpio or Scorpion and it's like. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little pushy, you know. I, I just I have to go to them, but I'm just like, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Because, uh, you know, well, it's, it's interesting. Like, every time I talk to a girl, I just freeze up. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, they say I'm so cold. <laughs> yeah. I, the thing is, I mean, it's kind of a brilliant idea because, like, they each come. You know, the the, the lore of Mortal Kombat is like they each come from a different realm. Mm. Every whatever, you know. The tournament's only a small part of the year, so what else are they doing in their own realm the rest <laughs> of the year? Oh, I thought you were get, you were going with like, what do they do after the tournament? Is it like Olympic Village Ooh. where they're all hooking up in the? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like after the tournament's over, like the survivors just have like a period of time where they're just the like hanging out before they go back. It's like yeah, the, like they they have the the rooms in the Nether Realm booked out for like three days or whatever. They uh, Nether Realm, hilarious. <laughs> Who's booking out the, the rooms? The Whose world job world. is it? Shao Kahn, I guess. You know. or wherever the Who's tournament it? is, I forget. Yeah. Who's Shao Kahn's like, like, like assistant who has to like f- let everybody know about what the logistics are and like oh, yeah. gets get yeah. the invitations out? Who's that person? Booking flights mm-hmm. for booking mm-hmm. flights. Johnny thank Cage, you. you know he wants to fly first class. <laughs> like I'm yeah. a star, oh. baby. You can't put Johnny Cage on business class to the no. Mortal Kombat tournament. He has to fly no. first Hosting. class. <laughs> so this person has to do the rebooking and everything. <laughs> yeah. I really like that there are like coach and business class portals to the nether realm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the coach True. portal. You have to travel through a nightmarish hell realm just to get <laughs> to nether realm. Uh, yeah, that's a great idea, Mari. I love this. All right. Uh, I guess for me, uh, if I wanted to see 
one bad guy as the protagonist. And this is just the first one that pops into my head. If I sat and thought about it, I might come up with someone else. But how about Liquid Snake? Like, mm. he really got the short mm. end of the snick, stick. I remember in one conversation. Oh, the snick. The stick. The one conversation he's having with uh, with Solid Snake, he's like, yeah, you got all the stronger uh, dominant genes mm. and I got the weaker recessive genes. It's like he got shafted and he's like, so I'll just build a giant death robot. And then I'll show mm-hmm. them, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I kind of see where he's coming from. Can't plus, fault the logic. Yeah, plus <laughs> his game would be like, uh, so I guess his game would start with him stepping on, like you, your first fight would be against Solid Snake, and you would step on him and, and kill him. And then you would go on a giant death robot rampage, you know, against all the people that wronged you in the world, or whatever. I don't even remember what his <laughs> plan was. But Liquid Snake on a death, uh, you know, Metal Gear rampage. Would make for a That's great game. That's what it's game. called, Metal yeah, Gear he just, Rampage. He's just stomping around, <laughs> blowing up everyone who. What a who what a beautiful like thing enemy. that that beautiful thing that robot could do for Liquid, though. Beautiful yeah. robot being able to. But then the <laughs> robot beautiful, beautiful the robot robot. runs into Maud Lovely and scans robot. her and is like, "Nope, you're an ally." <laughs> yeah, ally. <laughs> do not eliminate. Do not eliminate. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's mine. It's, it's great. not great, but it's you know it'd be a game. <laughs> total, total tangent. I think that Kung Lao would be so such a gentleman if I, if, we, I would, if I were to date a Mortal Kombat character. I think mm. it would be Kung Lao because you know he always takes his hat off in a lady's that's presence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and that's nice as you would have with it. <laughs> yeah, he places it on the ground. He spins it very quickly and runs your body through it. Yeah, <laughs> nice guy. Don't tell me with a good time. Like, <laughs> yay. Uh, Melina, though, Melina would suck. You'd get to first base and you'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> Melina is <laughs> trending uh, on Twitter right now because Why? of uh, because of The Last of Us, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I haven't oh, yeah. seen it. Yeah, I haven't watched the last episode yet. All right. Well, I won't say anything else then. All right. Well, this is fun. We're right around that hour mark right now. Uh, so we're probably going to call it here. Ma, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, oh, my absolute pleasure. Yeah, yeah that was Thanks fun. Thanks for taking so the time. Normal. Yeah. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we, uh, we're we excited for the the new book club stuff you're doing. Uh, with, yeah, tell uh, me what Mars books Rising. to read. I need to be smarter. She said oh, earlier, okay, so- Mars Rising. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, or, I'm Red sorry, Rising. Red Rising. Red, Rising, Red yeah. Rising. And then for you specifically, Sahinki, and I actually just did this recommendation, we covered it for Book Club January last year and it got the most five out of fives. Project Hail Mary is such a good contemporary fun sci-fi book with a lot of humor, especially when you consider that his job is to save the universe. So Nice. It's, a, it's really, really well done, especially in audible form, in an audio. If you listen to books, it's outstanding. Um, Mari, you don't listen to any fiction, but I think that you would like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, especially okay. because you love film. And Ooh. this is kind of like picture sort of like a fictional Elizabeth Taylor who's finally doing her tell-all on why she had seven husbands. Fun. It's really well done. There's a great twist in there and I sobbed for about 10 minutes when it was done because it was so well done. So that's your book. Laser Corn for you, I'm going to recommend because you love sci-fi and fantasy. I do. Have you read Name of the Wind? No. Oh, okay, I'm recommending Name of the Wind. Okay. It's probably the best. I will, it's one I will of the best books I've ever. Wind. Yeah. Now, oh my god. It doesn't what a have book thing three. That was. It doesn't have book three in the trilogy, but book one and two. I mean, they're thick boys. This is mm-hmm. this one here. Um, it's. I mean, I kind of told you the game version of it, but it's if you love fantasy, it's one of the best fantasy books I've ever read in my life. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm totally gonna read Name of the Wind. Uh, it yeah. sounds awesome. It's a great I, book. I, I, it's perfect timing too because I just finished. Uh, the Uriel Ventress Chronicles, which is Warhammer Ooh. 40k nonsense. Uh, um, yep. Yeah, it it gets weird and dark. I, I don't know that I'd recommend that, but I know more about the Warhammer 40k universe now, so it was useful. <laughs> nice. You can be friends with Henry Cavill now. Yeah, yeah, I could. Um, That's the prerequisite. If you haven't read any Warhammer um, or played it, then you cannot be friends with them. Mm. Yes. Or or built your own PC. You have to have yeah. done that as well. Yeah. yeah. It, it's yeah. it's hard to be friends with them. But uh, <laughs> it's the sacrifices you make. I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, Maude, that was so fun that yeah. that you had recommendations for us. That was so neat. Yeah, I do. I love sort of like knowing what I got from it, and then understanding people's tastes, and then being able to provide the perfect book for them. I just, oh. I think, yeah, it's like the matchmaking that I do, but it's the page making. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love that. That's so cool that you're doing that. And, and oh, and if you uh, need nonfiction recs, I got you too. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. Nice. I might hit Yay, you up for Way that. to my heart. But, I know. But we talk about a lot of personal growth and development. And if you want to start every year reading Atomic Habits, it'll put you in a really great headspace to get that those routines and good habits down. Pete has definitely read that. I, it's in our bookshelf, but I have oh, not read it. Do it. It's so good. Yeah, it's good. Nice. Yep. Cool. Yep. Cool, Yay. Cool. Um, well, Maud, thank you so much for being with us. You can check out everything that Maud is up to, including Maud's book club on social media. Um, and and thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much to our patrons over here. You can watch the full episode on patreon.com uh, slash Ogsog and by uh, supporting us there. Or you can listen to the whole thing on Spotify. Uh, thank Ooh. you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Maud. Thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much to our patrons over here. You can watch the full episode on patreon.com uh, slash Ogsog and by uh, supporting us there. Or you can listen to the whole thing on Spotify. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Bod.